outside at all during that show because sure. it was insane yeah, I mean all the, all the fans I, mean, I know this is Philadelphia but I know and you guys did, had this great reception in other places but here in Philly yeah, like all nice. the people dressed up was just like insane yeah what are your thoughts on that now you know kind of like you know seven eight months later like wh- how what do you think about your fans the fact that they come out and they dress up and, and do stuff like Rocky Horror and shit like that. Well, we always knew we had a really strong cult following, and um, it just seemed to follow in suit, you know, very, even very, very early on, even if even though we had a smaller audience at the beginning, it still seemed like the, those fans that did watch the show were rap. And I think it just seemed to grow all the time, but, um, but it seems like the show lends itself to that kind of behavior. You guys are in Philly. This is the last part. Uh, you guys have shot everything else. Well, where does the genesis come from? How long does it take to write all the episodes, and then where does it go from there? Like, how do you film it? Is it LA, like inside the bar, outside the bar, then to Philly? It, it's it's not the same every year, but um, we like to come to Philly at the end, generally, if possible, um, just because it's a nice way to finish off the uh, yeah. We're doing an interview for Alpha Just because it's a, it's a good way to uh, sort of finish off the season, end the season, and kind of ends everything on high note. It's done in different ways. Uh, it's always easier. Yeah, sometimes yeah. we come in the middle, sometimes we come in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Um, it's great out. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes it just depends on what we have to film and when locations are available. Right. Uh, yeah, I can't remember why we did it this time. It's better to film at the end, though. We chose to do it at the end this year just because last year we came uh, in between blocks. We shoot down the show in blocks, so we'll do six or seven episodes at a time. And uh, last year we came in between. It's just a lot to travel a few thousand miles and then have to go back and shoot another six or seven episodes. Now, you have family in the area, right? Mm-hmm. Like, So you get a little bit more time here rather than like the two days you're here filming and flying in and out. You actually get to have some fun. Why you're here? That's another benefit of coming at the end, is that we have a little bit of loose. We have, yeah, we can let loose a little bit because we know that it's it's coming to a close. We'll have a four or five day gap where the editors have to catch up with the material that's, being, that's coming in. So we'll have like five or six days at the end of that allow off before we have to start editing. So that gives me the opportunity to, to spend more time in the Philippines. And you guys, you could fly right back to LA or you hang out a little bit? So we're going to stay, um, well actually Charlie has to leave. Um, you got to go plug your uh, Drew Barrymore movie? Yeah, actually, I'm going to go to Rhode Island for a couple oh, right. of days and see my family. Yeah. Um, I just watched that trailer. Okay. This morning. Out, I'm <laughs> I'm that shit when they're about to hook up and they have you put it on the record. Stop teaching my hookups. It should be fun. But that's for a different event. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we're going to stay. I mean, um, I'm going to stay in town for an extra day because Rob opened up a bar uh, a couple weeks back. Uh, called Max Tavern here on uh, here at, on, on Market Street, right? Market, Market Street, third, between second, third, Market. Nice plug. <laughs> nice plug. So uh, Wednesday uh, Wednesday night is going to be the uh, the grand opening of the bar. So we're going to stay. Charlie has to leave, but the rest, everybody else is going to right? Yeah. Danny and yeah. Caitlin, obviously. Well, like Wednesday, so, like tomorrow night. Like tomorrow night. night. Yeah. Tomorrow night. Yeah. Uh, bars were open for a little while. Uh, we went and checked it out the other night. Uh, it's doing really, really well. It's actually blown up. There's a ton of people there. Uh, it's only been open for like three weeks. Three weeks, yeah. So yeah, it's going to be fun. Um, we're looking forward to the grand opening. It's 40 The bar looks really good. Probably with a couple, couple of his buddies. 
Is it the kind of place where your characters would mock and make fun of and never drink there? Uh, I think, yeah, well, but only, only because we, we desperately, like, wish that we owned it. You know, reality. Classic. Uh, it's classic. It's classic. It's classic. Yeah. What's, um, what's upcoming with the season? What can, what can people expect? You know, I don't expect all synopsis, oh, but it's what's nice. going on. Well, they, so, I can't ever remember anything that we're doing. They can expect, uh... Gay marriage. Uh, we're gonna do gay marriage, and we're gonna... Quiet vote. You know, do the... Uh, the Flyers. Um, they can expect a guest appearance by uh, Chase Utley and Ryan Howard in their episode. So, shot with them yesterday. Dave Foley, Jason Sudeikis. Can't think of a new note. What's that? The note for Chase Utley? Yeah. <laughs> that's what it was based on. That's what it was based on. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, we, there's a couple of good surprises in there. Um, so yeah, we're going to be, we're, we're doing some stuff with the uh, Flyers too. Yeah, we're taking, uh, Taking a center shot, center ice shot to win a week vacation at the WMM Long Beach House. Yeah. You bring him back, Preston and Steve? Yes. Yeah, Preston and Steve are going to show us how to And there's some good, you know, then there's some good smaller, uh, uh, you know, tighter sort of more character based relationships too. It's, you know, kind of classic sign that way. Um, you know, some smaller relationship episodes. Guest yeah. character episodes, one involving character who plays my mom. Character who plays Max Mom potentially moving in together. Uh, it's a very funny episode. We're helping bring size, Tom Sizemore's career back this year. He's oh, yeah. on the show. So, and Tom Sizemore makes a cameo appearance. Yeah, interesting uh, cameo on the show. Yeah, good. He's very funny. I don't know why he doesn't work out. Tom Sizemore's awesome. He's a funny guy. I just saw him in. You ever hear the movie Penn and Teller get killed? Yeah. No. We'll put it that. It's a movie where they're in Atlantic City and, and uh, Penn says he wants someone to kill him. So everyone keeps trying to murder Penn and Teller. It's a bummer that didn't work out. And Tom Sizemore, like, plays, you know, thug number two. You and I have a very similar handwriting, I just have to say. <laughs> These are actually your notes. I took them from your back pocket. And I I, I'm you. telling you, we must share a similar psychosis because it's almost identical. Let's have a look. It really looks like my handwriting. Yeah. It's frightening. Yeah, I was in your trailer. Sorry. Yeah, you're not looking like my handwriting. Um... With the success of, of Nightman, you know, the live show, with the directed DVD, which was awesome, the Christmas special. Yeah. You guys are planning on doing anything else, like branching out like that more? Any ideas, like gestating right now? We just focus primarily on the show. I just say that because it's, this stuff's been so awesome. That yeah, I'm just discuss- expecting you guys to up your game a little bit. We haven't discussed it a little bit. I mean, you know... I- I don't know if we would rule out doing a movie one day. It could be fun. But in the meantime, we're just focusing on making the seasons as good as we can. So much is, so much went into to doing that, and it was, it was a great experience last year. We feel like the core of of, of the, the brand that's become It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia is very clearly the, the TV show. And we really, like Charlie said, we really wanted to focus on that this year and make sure that you know, that, that fans didn't feel like we were trying to sell them something every couple of weeks. That it was important to us that they could still turn on FX and now Comedy Central and, and they get to watch something for free. Which is nice. Yeah. You guys are, are slated for another season after this season's completed, correct? Like you go to a season seven? Season yeah. seven, yeah. You see it going on after that? People will keep watching it. We'll go and keep making it. Yeah. Like you guys satisfied, you know, where you are right now in the, the show. You want to be like, i got to go on to bigger and better things. We love the show. We love doing the show. And I think as long as people are this uh, excited about the show and it continues to grow the way it has been growing, you know, who knows how long we'll do it for. Yeah, the truth is, I mean, I know I can only speak for myself. Um, I don't think it gets, I don't think things necessarily get better than this. Uh, I mean, we, we all, three of us, have different um, aspirations, different ambitions, and things that we want to do outside of the show. Uh, all of us do. We're, we're, we're desperate to do other things. Not desperate, just we just want to do other things. We're, we're artists. Um, but I don't know that it gets better than this. I mean, you know, we... It's true. We getting to work teams. together and with our friends yeah. and being... It's having such creative control of the content and having people love the show the way they do, there's really not much more you can ask for. No, I mean, we, we really are extraordinarily fortunate to have the kind of thing that we have with the show. 
Uh, but of course, we, we all want to do different things also, just because never, you're never just one thing. Uh, crank so three. Crank three. Crank three. I want to die crank two. So keep crank and keep hiding crank, crank one. one. Sort of. Yeah, the main character. <laughs> That's the first one. Yeah, well, he blinks. They, they could bring him back. They could bring him yeah. back. Um, <laughs> keep cranking. <laughs> <crank, laughs> keep cranking. Keep cranking away. Keep cranking away. <laughs> going off topic for a second, what about uh, Boulder going nowhere? Yeah. Uh, where's it? Where's that? When's that coming out? Nowhere. Is it still nowhere? Is it dead or? It's for now. It's Boulder going nowhere. So uh, you know, I, I think um, no, we, we have the opportunity to keep working on it, but the three of us wanted to make sure that we didn't split our focus from Sunny too much, and that at the end of the day, we decided that it was a little bit better to. Make sure that the thing with our faces on it and uh, our heart and souls in it stays as good as it can. And then when this is done, then maybe we can focus, have time to focus on something else. Yeah. We're just look at the amount of energy that we'd like to put into something else. What we discovered is that we, the three of us, you know, are, weren't just satisfied with uh, producing something creating it and then sort of sending it on its way. It was a little too difficult for us. We're all, all at the end of the day, I mean, we love producing things, um, but ultimately we're creative people. It's just tough for us to, we would never be able to relinquish creative control over, over It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. In order to do both shows, we would have had to relinquish some control over one or the other. One or the other, or both. In, you know, so it's just tough for us to compromise in that way. So uh, is it dead dead, or like maybe it's something now? in the future? Well, it's not something, I, yeah, never say never, of course, um, but it's not something that, because we did work on it for a long time and there were multiple rewrites of it, um, including a pilot that we did actually shoot, um, I can, you know, I can speak for myself and say that it's just not something that interests us anymore for now. You know, we're sort of creatively we're burnt out. What do you think of Lost Finale? How did it feel to kind of go back into that world for a little bit? Uh, it was nice to see you pop up there near the end. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the experience of working on Lost was amazing. It's a trip out to life. I was just in the mailing with Jim today. Um, and I was just really impressed with the way that they ended. I felt like it was emotionally satisfying. Um, I felt like they left, they answered enough questions that it felt like this, that the show itself was complete, but left enough unanswered that it still leaves the audience with the opportunity to interpret, which I think is really important in a show like that. Yeah! Ten minute warning, guys. Thank you. Um, and I, I think overall it's a really difficult thing to do, to write and produce a, a final episode of a show that's so beloved. Uh, and I think it's really if the show ever ends, when it ends, where do you see the characters, you know, just going off that? see like the bar blowing up, you see Charlie like becoming mayor of Philadelphia. What, what's like your dream ending for the show? Well, Not that it has dream to ending, you're going to have to wait until... Yeah! yeah. <laughs> so well, that's the kind of thing that you can't say now, and then... Uh, <laughs> they want to break it? That's, a, yeah. that's an unanswerable question. So yeah. I want to tell Charlie to go mayor. I mean, we've thought about it. We've talked about it. We have ideas. Uh, but we would never... Yeah. <laughs> I asked this question before, I'm going to ask it again. Real Perlman. Uh, you guys ever consider bringing her? I know you said that she was in the uh, the live show in LA. She played the piano player part. Would you ever like? She's the one cameo I would love to see. So yeah, I'm just asking a personal I, question. I think we would love to get her on the show. I know she's both expressed interest in it, and Betty has. It's the kind of thing where you want it to be the right role for the right actress. So we're not just going to stick her in there as you know. Uh, Woman in doorway or secretary. So you know, uh, when we when the right storyline comes up, if she's around and available. We'd love to have her. Secretary in doorway. Secretary in doorway. Yeah. yeah. I guess because you guys got to wrap. Yeah, to wrap up. Um, we were talking on the way here, just favorite moments of the show. And for us, it was so hard to kind of pick one. But if out of the show thus far, is there any moments that you guys really stick out in your mind, being like great moments? We were thinking like when you guys tended to kill yourselves, like that whole episode is just <laughs> wonderful with the poppers and the wedding dress and <laughs> the coat and like that, yeah. that shit's awesome. So is there any like moments that you're like, go off the top of your head and they're just great for you? I think, I think the reason that doing this show has been so enjoyable for all of us is that 
when we go back and look at an episode, and we truly step away from the from the set and done, but when we come back with fresh eyes and look at them, there's a million moments in every episode that were fun to shoot and fun to write and are fun to watch again. So it's really hard for me to pinpoint one or another thing and say, oh, well, that was a good moment, because uh, I yeah. take a lot of pride in feeling as though it's a good between 5, 10, or 15 of those moments in every single episode that we've ever put out there. So, uh, as long as we can maintain that, I think we're going to keep doing that. Also, our, like, our experience is different than what the viewers' experience is, because, I, don't, I mean, we've had so many fun moments that aren't necessarily the funniest things to watch, and vice versa. Sometimes some of the funniest things to watch were so difficult to shoot, and it wasn't as much fun do so. For you guys. So yeah, for me, like some of my funnest moments are just like when we get to act, when we get to work together um, and and spend time and take our time and it doesn't necessarily translate to oh, a moment in gas prices or oh, a moment in you know, that guy's that's his mom as well. But picking a favorite episode or a favorite moment is like, is like saying you have a favorite child. Yeah. You may have one, but you're not going to say <laughs> that in front of the other ones. <laughs> right. I think we were up to 15 at one point. We just kept on naming them off. Yeah, we, we, could, have, we could have actually come up with one. Oh, good. That's, 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 that's all right. We'll let you go. We'll see you guys on the set. Cool.